Today, I'm just going to demonstrate very quickly how to play a stop when we're playing the drums. Uh, sometimes the music wants us to stop playing the drums, that's why it's called a stop, uh, with a little uh, punctuation point that allows us to drop out and allows the music to breathe a little bit and it creates a very uh, good effect. It's the kind of thing you'll hear in a song like Mustang Sally. Or, um, so, common thing to do, easy, just pick any eighth note beat and what we're going to do is we're going to play the stop on the first beat of the four bar of a four bar phrase just to practice this. Okay, and the stop I'm going to play is the hi-hat and the snare drum together, which gives us a sharp little punctuation. So when I'm playing the hi-hat, I'm going to do that. Uh, when I play the ride, I'm going to use a flam to create the stop. Okay, when I stop playing, I'm going to keep counting. So when I stop playing on the first note of the fourth bar of my four bar phrase, I'm going to count through it so that I keep in time for when I start up again. Okay, now that's a pretty simple idea. If you watch me doing it, you'll be able to understand what I mean. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Since we need a nice short sound, uh, these are not the only sounds you can make. We don't have to play a flam or play the hi-hat this way. Uh, one fairly common thing to do would be to play a choked crash sound. So you could go like this and make sure you pinch the cymbal with your hand. That cuts the sound. Uh, if you want to play, say, snare and floor tom, you can muffle it with your hand like that to shorten the sound. You play the two toms. Sometimes maybe you need to muffle both of them with your hand, or you could play Better the cymbal gives quite a good impact uh, and sometimes you want to play a stop and let the cymbal ring. It's, it's not the rule that you have to always um, choke the sound. Maybe sometimes you play stops and you want a longer sound. But that's the basic idea. It's very, very important to remember to count through the stop. Now, uh, once you get used to playing the stop, uh, you can play a fill as well to bring yourself back in. Uh, and I'll just demonstrate this now with a simple fill, and then you can go away and practice this using it at any beats you're comfortable playing. Uh, obviously, stops don't always happen on the one, but this is just a simple way of getting used to the idea. So here we go. I'm going to play a fill back in to my groove. That's it. Go and practice your stop time. <laughs> 